Welcome back to Hawk to Hawk. I'm Nate Kading. Marshall Yonda is one of the elite linemen in the NFL. Many of the NFL stars were heavily recruited by major colleges out of high school, but Marshall took a less traditional path to stardom. Um, obviously a product here of the farm and Anamosa High School. Yep. When did you, was it immediately when you strapped on the pads at Anamosa High when you know that something special was there? Or was it more of a progression for you? It was definitely a progression. It was a, a one day at a time deal. I mean, even from, you know, seventh grade from to college to, uh, you know, and I, I took a little alternate route. I went, you know, junior college for two years and then obviously Iowa, but uh, it was a day by day thing. I mean, my goal was to play football at Iowa, you know, when I was in, uh, when I was in, high school when we were growing up because obviously we don't have a pro team here in Iowa and in my household we we grew up watching Iowa basketball and Iowa football and to tell you the truth we watched more Iowa basketball than we did football my mom's a big basketball fan so we watched tons of you know basketball games and we just loved the Hawks so you know my dream was to play for the Hawkeyes you know, obviously I'd love to play for the NFL but we you know we weren't really successful in high school and uh and obviously I didn't know how good I was or and I was a very raw player back then I had no idea I had the talent and, and the and to, to make it this far. So it was, it was never a goal like, oh, I'm gonna play in the NFL. I was hoping to play for Iowa was my main goal. And, and to get that done and then obviously have the opportunity to play in the NFL has been great. And I've just been, like I said, it's been a one day at a time deal since high school. And it's just work hard, you know, one day at a time, go to bed and get up and do it again and, and see where the chips lay. And it, it's, uh, you know, we've been fortunate. I've been fortunate to stay healthy enough. I've been injured and uh, gone through some stuff, but healthy enough to, to you know, have a, a good, successful career and make a lot of great memories and just enjoy it. Sure. Yep. At the, those two years you spent at NIAC in junior college, looking back on it, were there some valuable lessons you learned there? Uh, yeah. Something that you take away? Do you view it as a sort of a fork in the road where it was a little bit of adversity or is it something just the natural I think process? I think it was my growing up stage. I mean, obviously, I, uh, you know, I had a lot of fun in high school and, uh, and you know, that kind of, you know, maybe did a little bit of that too much and and uh and took for granted you know the school and uh the aspect of going to class and this and that but obviously when i went to nyack i knew that this was my last shot you know if i really wanted to play for iowa i had to buckle down and there was i'm going for it you know and our our junior college coach said you know you got to graduate in a year and a half at junior college if you want to be you know considered to get offered from uh division one school so you know my first uh my first summer you know it was your first college summer and, uh, you know, I had, you know, 17 credit hours staring me down in the face or otherwise go home like everybody else did. There was five of us that stayed out of 125 kids on the football team and took summer classes, you know. So there was five of us out of 120 and I'm staring down 17 credit hours. And I'm like, I'm doing this because I'm, I'm you know, if I if I don't do it, I'm not going to make it, you know, and I just might as well go 110 percent for it and see what happens, you know. And obviously I did that. And uh and it worked out great. Obviously, they needed linemen, and uh, and Coach Ferentz took a shot on me as a junior college, and uh, you know it's been it's been great. Were Coach Ferentz and Coach Morgan, your offensive line coach, while you were at Iowa, were they in communication with you your entire time at NIAC, or did they come in near the end? How did that work? Um, pretty much at the end. Uh, they knew of me a little bit, Coach Morgan a little bit in high school, but obviously he looked at my grades. I didn't have the grades in high school, so there's a lot of recruits in. Uh, in high school and obviously he's seen my grades and just like I'll move on to the next guy I, I completely understand that's just the way it goes but at my my second year at uh at NIAC was when my head coach started calling to Iowa because he used to be a uh, an assistant coach in Nebraska for a long time so he had seen division one talent and he's he was trying for me because I told him I wanted to go to Iowa and he said you know so he starts calling down there and say hey this kid has division one talent to to, to play. He's, he deserve, definitely deserves a look. You should at least look at his film. So he did that like three or four times. So finally we got some film down to him and finally I went down there and, uh, and met Coach Ferentz and it was just kind of like a process. You know, they weren't real excited about me, you know, but they were interested in me and they were just, they were happy with when they met me. They're happy with my film and they ended up giving me their last scholarship, which was great. So, um, you know, it, uh, it was great for both of us. You know, it worked out great for them and for me and uh, for them to give me that opportunity was huge because Obviously, as you know, being an offensive lineman coming out of Iowa is huge. I mean, even for the for the draft. I mean, you know, when you come out of Iowa, you got Coach Ferentz, you have him as an offensive line coach, and then, you know, for him to talk to scouts and say hey, this guy's going to be great, you know, that that's worth a lot of money. That's worth a lot of draft. That's worth a lot of draft picks. You know, so obviously, I wanted to go there and I wanted to learn from him. Next on Hawk to Hawk, Marshall discusses the lessons he learned from playing the offensive line under the tutelage of Kirk Ferentz and then offensive line coach Reese Morgan. That and much more still to come.